Hi, this is Dr. David Berman, board certified plastic surgeon, talking to you from Nicaragua, where I'm here on vacation. You can see the uh, beautiful beach line behind me. So what I'm going to talk about today is what are the procedures that I see as most popular in 2024 for men? So starting with the non-invasive, I think Botox is getting more and more popular with men. The commonest areas are between the eyebrows, the glabellar area, where you get the deep frown lines. The crow's feet, again, I have to keep my sunglasses on because the sun's so bright. But when you smile and you get all those lines there, Botox definitely helps. It forms the forehead on the ear. So Botox helps with lines of movement. So when you look in the mirror and you're not smiling and you're not frowning, those lines aren't going to change. You have to be using muscles for Botox to tap in that. Next common thing, that's again, non in, uh, non-invasive, but are fillers. Fillers are, we get deep nasal labial lines, hollow cheeks, hollow temple areas, and those are great with fillers. The filler I like to use a lot is Voluma because it lasts up to two years. It's a hyaluronic acid filler with lidocaine. It's in the house of the family. Getting into surgical procedures, commonest area for men to accumulate fat that they don't like is submental behind the chin, giving you the double chin, lower abdomen, which we all know is the belly area, and love handles, which are hard for me to show, but in that area, best thing from the back. And even when you're in great shape, you almost always have some love handles. Smart lipo, as a lot of people have heard me speak, is it a minimally invasive. The incisions are only two or three millimeters. It's done in the office under oral sedation. Uh, with the gross local anesthetic, you can return to work the very next day. Smart Lipo is a great way to improve those areas. Um, flanks or love handles, same thing, lower up, submental. Next area that I think is going to be quite popular is gynecomastia. Men feel they have too much breast formation. And it can be one of three different ways. They either feel the whole breast is too big, blow away, or they feel that the nipple areolar complex sticks out too much when they wear something like a wife beater, or lastly, they feel that their nipples stick out too much. And each one of those requires a different surgical treatment. So some of those can be done in the office under local with oral sedation and some of those that do in the main operating room. Lastly, uh, the upper lids and lower lids. Upper eyelids, upper lipoplasty helps get rid of that tired look. The lower plepharoplasty, when it's done transconjunctivally, is an easy way to decrease the fat pads or the puffiness of the lower lids. And of course, the skin can be tightened at tightened at the same time. So those are some of the procedures that I think will be the most popular in 2024 for men. So signing off to you at the present moment on vacation in the coast of Nicaragua.